Hi folks, Timmy from Aloha Surf. This is the Coastal Watch 2018 Indo Surf Guide proudly presented by The Perfect Wave. They've got you covered anywhere you go. They've got a resort there. Book them in, stay there, get barrel, get a new board. Boom, pal. <laughs> Channel Islands, one of the best surfboard design team in the world, originated in Santa Barbara. This particular model, 100% Australian made, so made locally in Sydney. It's called the Taco Grinder. This model has been done before, we've even um, done a review on it before, but as with most things, they've refined it, made it better. It's the 2018 model, so it's a little bit tweaked. They've you know, changed a few bits and pieces here and there and come up with an even better model than the previous one. It looks nice and fresh. It's got the nice black carbon looking stringer, um, five fin system, rounded pin tail. This one comes in at six, three, eighteen, and seven eighths, two and three eighths. So more of a traditional style step up. Um, really good in hollow waves where you need a bit of a longer rail and sort of serious type waves. Perfect for Indonesian waves. If you're going to be going to say the Mentawis and stay in one of the perfect wave resorts, this board would be amazing at telescopes, HTs, anywhere like that. We've got a good solid wave where you need a little bit of length to get into it. It's got a five fin setup. Okay, most people probably opt to ride it as a thruster. Um, although for advanced tube riding where you want to get a lot of speed and you know really pull in and come out with a lot of you know make sections that you probably wouldn't be able to do on the thruster you get more speed from a quad fin setup so you'll see some advanced tube riders prefer the quads for going really fast and getting barreled as far as off the bottom off the top type turns thrusters are probably the go nice curve all the way through single concave running through to a double concave strong glass job it's got a six ounce and a four ounce on the deck and a four ounce on the bottom and it's a really good looking shape and it's a beautiful board Kelly Slater we've all heard of him he owns a board company Firewire Surfboards he spent a lot of time in the ocean. He's been refining shapes for a long time. And this is what he's come up with. It's called the Gamma. It's basically a high performance shortboard. It's got a generous amount of rocker throughout the whole board. It's probably got a medium nose and tail, but there's a continuous curve through the board. So it's designed for a fairly good shape wave. Indo is where you we were talking about this board going, so it's going to go amazing in Indonesia. Um, there's a couple of interesting aspects of this board. It's called the helium technology, so really light, but as per most boards when they're really light, they're not very strong. This board is actually very structurally strong. It's got a full combination of parabolic rails, which is uh, polonia wood and balsa wood. So underneath the rails there, they're painted white, but you'd actually, if, you, if they weren't painted white, you'd actually see the wooden rail outline. Okay, that gives you a really good flex in the board. Um, there's also a stringer it's quite technical, this board. There's also a stringer, they call it a springer, that goes from about here to here in the surfboard. And what that does, a lot of the times, particularly in, in powerful waves like Indonesia, if you're riding some epoxies and bigger waves, you get a little bit of vibration and the board doesn't really light the power and it sort of bounces around and surfs on top of the water and flexes too much. So this sort of dampens that effect makes it more capable of riding waves with power, which is why it's a really good board for Indonesia. Yeah, it comes with a five fin setup. Um, generally, thrusters are probably the most conventional shape to ride it with, but I'm sure it goes really fast as a quad as well. With Kelly Slater doing the research and development behind a high performance surfboard and good quality waves like Indonesia, you know this one's gonna go. I've ridden it, it's a fantastic board. Um, reliable, safe, super alive, like it's got a lot of flex in it, okay, it's responsive, it's quick, it's strong, it's a really good board to throw in your quiver and take to endo.
Okay, this is pretty exciting. This is a brand new model, which is a collaboration between Matt Biolis from Lost Surfboards and one of his number one team riders from a long time, like he's been riding for him a long time, Taj Burrows. So Taj lives in WA, he surfs a lot of hollow, powerful waves. He said to Matt, I want a board that's just a one board quiver that I can surf and like, you know, small beach breaks, big reefs, hollow, you know, all types of wedges, slabs, you name it, whatever Taj wants to surf, which is exactly like the waves in Indo. So this board is amazing for Indo. It would be a great board to surf the Bukit Peninsula on because you get a wide variation of different types of waves through the different tides. It's called the Sabotage. It hasn't even been logoed up yet because it's that fresh. They're not even in, not even in the stores yet, but they're coming soon. So this particular model is 6219 2.56 at 33 litres. Okay, the way that Matt and Taj have designed this board is to ride it a similar length to your short board, but because it's wider and thicker, it's got a lot more paddle power, so you can paddle into some pretty much bigger, more powerful for waves. Um, it's got a, a beautiful looking rounded pin tail. It's a single concave under the front foot running through to a double concave through the fins, through the tail section. And it's got a lot of forward volume. Under here, the, the reason, the way they hide the volume is all under the the middle of the board with a little bit of extra thickness. It comes with a five fin setup. Personally, and after speaking to Matt, he says that Taj rides it as a thruster because it probably suits the thruster. So it's got the extra fins in there just in case you want to ride it as a quad as well, but generally most people will be riding this as a thruster. This is a really modern type of step up, okay? You don't have to have the extra length with this type of board. You've got a shorter, wider, thicker board with more volume forward, so it paddles like a longer board anyway. Really good for maneuvering in the tube, taking off early, getting behind the section, and charging. So Taj Burrows, Matt Biolis, Sabotage, sick board for Indo. The Paisal Ghost. This board has been under the feet of John John Florence. You've probably all heard of him. He's quite famous right now. He's a two-time world champion, amazing surfer. And John Paisal is a shaper from Hawaii. So they've had a pretty close connection from a younger age. And they've designed the Ghost. It's an amazing board. It's, it performs really well. Just to give you a bit of my idea, it's six foot, 19 and three eighths. 2.56, so it's 29.7 litres. The volume is more moved further forward up the board, so you've got a lot of area under your chest, which enables you to paddle into waves very easily without having too much length in the board, which is great for the types of waves that John John surfs in Hawaii, all around the world, but really good indo board, okay, because good paddle power, you don't need too much length. It's also got a pretty narrow rounded pin tail which has a lot of control and it turns very tight in the pocket. It's got quite a lot of tail rocker with a fairly flat sort of forward nose rocker and a medium sort of curve through the middle of the board. So having the flatter forward volume and a lot of thickness through the middle of the board with the lower rail compensating it with quite a bit of tail rocker. So it's still good on a really steep wave. It's a single concave under through most of the board into a shallow double concave through the tail section. So really good for taking off early, turning tight on the pocket. I mean, you've all seen John John's jams under the lip and they're amazing. That tail really has a lot of hold. So to surf this board, because I've written it, it's, it's loose, but it's got so much control. So amazing board for Endo. Um, a great all-round board. It's not. It's just a short board, but it's capable of riding solid waves. So fantastic for the mentalis. It comes in a five-fin setup. Um, I know John John hardly ever rides a quad, but the quad feeling on this board probably makes it a little bit quicker. So sometimes when the waves are a bit fat and slow, the actual quad fin setup will give you a little bit more speed through some of those slower sections.
super brand shaped on the Gold Coast by Sparrow. Um, this model is called the Pig Dog. Just looking at the outline of the board, it's quite a short wide board. It's 5, 10, 19 and a half, 2 and 3 eighths, 29 and a half litres. So it's, it's a fairly short board and you wouldn't think that this board would be capable of holding bigger waves, but there's been a lot of R&D done to this board and the guys at Super are telling me that you don't need to increase the length of your short board to ride this one. You keep it about the same length as what you normally ride because they've hidden the extra volume in the nose and the width and the thickness all the way through and give you a couple of extra litres which allows you to paddle into waves earlier, take off on bigger waves which is always important to get in early if it's solid and that rounded pintail is capable of holding on really well so it's gonna it's gonna perform in powerful endo tight waves it comes in eps construction and pu it's a sh it's very new school i mean it's not dissimilar to some of the other boards we've reviewed but it's probably the shortest widest one of the lot so you know, that, that's what's happening with boards these days. They're going shorter and wider with more paddle power. Great for tube riding because you don't have too much length of board which can sort of, you know, inhibit your performance. In the tube, it's easy to tweak your turns and maneuver inside the barrel. This board comes with this, a generous single concave under the front section, running through to a double concave and finishing up with a nice little V in the tail. So it allows for smooth rail to rail transition with a lot of speed. Most rounded pintails come with a five fin setup. As I mentioned earlier, it's, it's a preference thing whether you like the, the back with the thruster, you really have the back fin for drive and with the quad fin, you just have that flat line acceleration. So try both ways, they both really work. Just work out what suits you best. There's a slight chime on the rails. The wide point is a little bit forward of center, which gives you that really good paddle power that you're looking for when you're taking off on a heavier wave. So great for taking off under the ledge into a, you know into some heavy barrels. Straight into the pig dog. I mean, it's called the pig dog. And it's even got a picture of a pig in the dog. Wow, that's sick. <laughs>、Warner, another local legend shaper from the northern beaches. This model is the new updated Mexican. Okay, he's been running this model for a while now, but he's, as, as with most good designs, he's tweaked it. He's actually made it, this model is actually slightly shorter and wider than the previous one, and it now comes in an EPS foam epoxy styrene core with epoxy resin with the carbon. So, really good flex pattern. Um, very alive and light. High performance board. I know for a fact that Davy Cathels, one of his team riders, rides a lot of these boards.、Um, as far as traveling through Indonesia, we all go over there thinking, oh, the waves are going to be massive and pumping and big and barrels and things like that. But it's, you know, sure you get, a, you know, you do get some good sized swells, but there's always those days in between the bigger days where you just need a fun size. Shape board for sort of two to four foot,、um, particularly in the Banyaks and Talus Lodge, and you know, sometimes in the Mentawis, it's not always six foot plus. So, this board would be a great fun board, and in the smaller Indo fun days, like two to four foot, maybe five foot, still amazing in the barrel, though. It does have the rounded pintail, it's nice and short, so good surfers can maneuver it in the barrel. High performance board, yeah, it's a good, it's five, six, nineteen, two and a quarter. You've only got twenty five and a half. Half liters, and it's the new Sick Flex epoxy technology is the term that he uses for it with S glass and Negra and carbon. Obviously, depending on how much you weigh, so that's the main determinator for what size fins you should ride. So medium, medium size fins anywhere between say 65 to 75 maximum 80 kilos. Any more than that, you really should use a large fin. But you know it, that's a different. Things some people are big and they like medium fins, some people are smaller and they like large fins. The bigger the fin, the more drive you have, the smaller the fin, the more maneuverable. 
Personally, I think everybody should ride larger fence, go faster, do bigger turns, but you know, not as slidey and stuff like that. So it's a personal preference, the fins. I bet this board would go insane. Take one on your holiday.